Hello to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I'll just cut to the chase. New Wah. Real name, none. Length, 65 feet to vast. Weight, 45 tons to vast. Status hero and creator of the people of China. Base, China, mobile. Intelligence, four and a half brains. Behavior. Confident, creative, and intellectual. She's protective of all innocence. Lethality. Extremely dangerous to those who desire genocide. Weaknesses. Showed, though she does fight her opponents, she doesn't desire to kill them. Powers. She has a long snake tail used for tangling enemies. Extreme wisdom. Possesses a variety of cosmic powers and is virtually immortal. She can also project beams of cosmic energy from her hands. Eyes light bluish. Hair deep black in a Chinese style ponytail. Origin. In the first years of the Quaternary Period, there is a powerful being known as Nu Hua, who has waist up the body of a woman and waist down the body of a massive serpent. After a time of loneliness, she decided to create some creatures to cure the absence. Through some studies of Adam and Eve Cook, she got some clay from a riverbank and molded it to become her own perspective of humans, which eventually led to the first people in China. After a while, Raph used a massive comet with intense energy that formed a big hole in the sky, which would destroy the entire planet. In the process, Nuwa used her cosmic powers and projected a cosmic energy beam to fix the hole. Eventually, she got tired and took her rest on the ground, and the ground around her started to form into a mountain range. Many centuries later, Mega Maid was battling against Cheer to protect Hong Kong, and the pressure between them cracked open the mountain range, and Nu Hua was finally awakened by the first beams of sunlight. She soon arrived and helped Mega Maid win the fight. Since then, Nu Hua is trying all that she can to protect the not just China, but all innocents as well. Costume. She wears a variety of Chinese clothing from the waist up. Team, solitary, or with other heroes, or inspiration, Nu Hua of Chinese mythology. Here's the next character. Tongue. Real name, Teresa Freeman. Height, 5 feet 7 inches, weight 149 pounds. Status, hero and sister of frog. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, 2.5 brains. Behavior, flirtatious and dignified. She has a variety of special tastes. Lethality, only during a fight. Weaknesses, she has no healing factor. Powers. She has the ability to stretch her tongue to unrecorded distances, enabling it to wrap around opponents and is nearly unbreakable. She later gains some martial arts and high agility. Eyes vivid green, hair oranges red and wavy. Origin Teresa Freeman was once a young girl known to be the sister of the amphibian Frog. One day when she was trying to help Frog with a local gang fight, Teresa got badly injured leading to Frog giving her a minor blood transfusion. When she awoke, Teresa learned that she can stretch her tongue to countless miles, urging her to become a hero known as Tung. Eventually, Tung successfully helped Gold and Fahrenheit with a fight against Freeze and Impersonator. Since then, Tung is marked as a hero, got some Garmat training from Faceless, and is recently hired as a new member of the Universal Misfits. Costume. She wears a green, bullet, and fireproof latex suit. Teams, solitary with frog or with the universal misfits, original inspiration, tongues. Here's the last character. Cowgirl. Real name, Sally Ann Watson. Height, 90 feet, weight, 9 tons. Status, hero, and expert wrangler. Base, Tennessee, mobile. Intelligence, 2.5 brains. Behavior. Witty and confident, she loves it when people look up to her. Lethality, deadly, but usually when angered. Weaknesses, she hates it when people make fun of her western accent. Powers, she has great size and strength, can equip an infinite number of lassos via magic satchel, 
and has some uncanny reasoning skills. She also possesses some uncanny word usage. Eyes, bluish-greenish, hair, blonde, and braided pigtails. Origin Sally Ann Watson was an everyday cowgirl in Tennessee who wished to be taller. One night, she prayed to Goddess asking for her to become a more reasonable height. The next morning, Sally Ann decided to hike around town until she got a sensation that made her pass out. And when she came to, she found that she had expanded to the height of 90 feet. Proud that her wish came true, Sally Ann had a fun time until she learned that Black Betty was running rampant across Nashville. After a travel and a long fight, Cowgirl had finally prevented Betty and Shadow from doing any more damage. Even prouder after her first accomplishment, Gymoscorcus soon hired Sally Ann to become a new member of the Avenging League. Costume. She wears a pink undershirt, blue overalls, and a cowgirl hat. Team Solitary with the Avenging League and other heroes. Those inspiration? Cowgirls. Well, those are the three characters, and I hope it's worth it for you guys. To be honest, I ate, I attempted my own ASMR channel, but turns out I had too much hype and I had no choice but to shut it all down because I kind of feel ashamed for getting too carried away with the excitement and such. I just need things to work, you know what I'm saying? And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Your choice. Hope you guys have a decent rest of the month and such. And until next time, in transmission.